This is Shelly Hughley with Southwest Farm Press and joining me is Daryl Ernest and he is the Deputy Administrator for the USDA Agriculture Marketing Service Cotton and Tobacco Program. That's correct. It's a mouthful. <laughs> it's a mouthful. And we are in Lubbock, Texas at the new classing office that's being built and the last time you and I spoke was at the groundbreaking in 2019 and We've come a long way, we've got a long way to go, but we've come a long way since 2019. Right. So catch us up on, so, on what's going on. Well, it's good to see you again. Thank you. Since then, yeah, we are, uh, as you can see, we're making progress. Um, we're probably about 60 to 70% complete. Um, we've got most of the building in the dry, so to speak. We've got okay. a little bit more to do. Um, so it's really coming along well. Uh, we've got a ways to go. So uh, a lot of the interior has still got to be put in and obviously, you know, we're getting infrastructure in for equipment, but I'm really pleased not only with the progress, but certainly with the craftsmanship. It's going to be uh, a great building when we get finished with it. Excellent. We can't wait to see. So talk to me a little bit about, I know with construction, we, we have a finished date-ish, right? So what are you guys thinking or hoping <laughs> yeah. for? Yeah, the $64 question. I mean, our target was to be hopefully late spring or late summer, early okay. fall. We're still hoping to make that. I mean, right now that's what the construction schedule is, um, barring any unforeseen things. And we're just going to kind of have to see how that happens. A lot of things can happen with construction, right. but um, hopefully we're still working towards that completion time frame, and uh, we'll know more. I mean, each each week we know more and then each month we know more. So as we get a little closer towards the summer, we'll know kind of where we are. So you guys actually started on this this project in May of 2020, which was when the pandemic really was in exactly. full force. Yeah. Have there been any setbacks with the, the pandemic or? You know, they, they're few, but they've been minimal. I, I give a lot of credit to the construction company here. Um, Lee Lewis Construction and all the Texas Tech and all the all the partners that we've got in this project, they've done a really good job of keeping uh, all of that contained and mm -hmm. really following a lot of important protocol. And now that we're kind of coming out of that yes. a little bit, you know, we're in good shape. So, you know, we, we suffered a little bit of that, not only because of the direct COVID, but, but also from the effects of COVID on construction materials Absolutely. and deliveries and manufacturing. So. Um, Overall, I think we've been able to keep that minimized. Yeah. And so uh, that's good because we could have suffered dramatically. Let's talk a little bit, you know, we talked about it in 2019 about why this is such a unique partnership, that this is a first of, of its kind for USDA Correct. and their classing offices. Can you talk to that a little bit? Sure, so yeah, this is gonna be a one of a kind building, uh, not only structurally, functionally. I mean, it's gonna be state-of-the-art classing office. It's gonna have all of the newest equipment, all the automation equipment that we're working on. Um, we're building it probably more soundly than ever. I mean, it's gonna be a really tight building for our conditions that we have to have. But more than that, it's kind of a partnership that we're doing with Texas Tech and that we want this building to function as not only a classing office, but also as a research and education and um, an employment opportunity. So we're doing a lot of work with them. It's gonna be, kind of a teaching building. Yeah. So we will do some some cooperative uh, deals with some of uh, tech departments. And um, it's gonna be different from what our typical classing office is. Right. Obviously we're on tech campus, so we're gonna have some, some inter a lot of interaction with them, but also with potentially other um, institutions from the area. So it's it's gonna be a, a unique and very interesting facility. I love it. Well, Daryl told me today he's gonna be back again in a couple of weeks and we're going to keep tabs and keep giving you guys updates on the progress here. We're just real excited about what's ahead and and uh, to see this the finished product here in Lovett, Texas at Texas Tech University. So thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate your time and for the, the My updates. pleasure. Yeah, my pleasure. Looking forward to giving you better updates that's as we right. go along. As so we that's make good. progress. Excellent. All Thanks, right. Shelley. Thanks again. Shelly Hughley with Southwest Farm Press with Daryl Ernest with USDA Agricultural Marketing Service Cotton and Tobacco Program in Lubbock, Texas.